Hello, hi guys, how are you? Jamboni Saseni, bonjour, salama salama, how is the day? It's morning, I've not yet had my coffee, but I'm going to be doing this just in a moment. Uh, I hope you guys are good, everything is well, Christmas vibes, I know it's been a very hard time, a very hard year, but for me, I can only say that I'm grateful to God, I believe you too, because if you're watching this video, I believe you're well, and if you're not, don't give up, keep pushing. Guys, the year has been rough the pandemic has been very hard on us but let's just be grateful that we are well for me the, my family is okay i'm okay what else can i tell god i know 2021 is going to be a better year i can't wait to wind up this year i'm grateful for whatever happened and whatever never happened i'm a believer i know that next year we can still do it one more time so guys for those who don't know me karibuni sana my name is alia mogore ditman aka dream chaser 2020 rushing just rushing keeping up with time and just trying to see what i'm able to do because i know time is not waiting so if you have a dream try to do what you can right now don't wait way too much don't wait to have that much money in your bank or to go take that big loan for you to start start small and watch yourself grow i'm a witness that with very little you can get to the top i'm not yet there i'm still working very hard but i know that i didn't have to wait to have that much for me to begin and i want to inspire you today that it's we never have the right time god's time is the best but if you know you have a dream and you can be able to like start off right now don't wait too much sour sour don't wait to have all the answers to all your questions for you to be able to start just start and some things will just come as you continue sour sour guys i'm glad again um, I had promised to shoot a video about uh, the challenges that I went through about my spices. First of all, I'd like to introduce my spices. Um, just to make it very clear, this is not Royco, because I know Kenyans you love Royco so much. I loved it when I was in Kenya, because I believe it was part of cooking. You had to use Royco for you to have delicious food. But um, as time went by, I don't know, somehow, maybe because I never had the supply here in Germany as much as I would have wanted or as often. And because of this, I think it wasn't so much of my favorite. You can come to my kitchen, I think even a year before, um, if you got Royco, maybe somebody had sent me. But for me, I wasn't so much like a Tibila Royco I can't cook. So whatever made me bring up my spices, first of all, they are not Royco, they are not Pilau Masala, they are not all these mixed spices that we buy in the supermarkets in Kenya. Of course, there are some ingredients, there are some spices that I mixed that are also in the Royco and the Masala thing. But uh, my spices are layer finest spices, layers exotic spices. Along the years as I've been cooking, I've been mixing up spices, what I used to do my food. And because of my customers loving what they eat, I thought to myself, why can't you just bring up together that what you make for different meals and sell to them? And that's how Kenya, uh, Leia Finest Spices came up. Um, it's something that I thought overnight and thought how could I do it and I just started. Guys, you know me, me I don't wait at Impaka, I'll be told that you have to have this for you to start up something. So what I did, I ordered seeds. These are the spices that you're buying right now. Those are this is a blend that I've mixed by myself. I ordered the seeds. I had to wait for some. Actually, I still have two more spices that are online um, uh, that are coming up. I haven't gotten everything yet to be able to mix and get that taste that I would really like to have. But for three, the beef, the vegan veggie and the rice spice, you can already order them. We have like 20 kilos left. After that, I'm going to put a hold because then we need a big capacity for me to be able to market in the German not even the German, the European market. I want to have my spices in the European market and I know it's possible because my slogan remains forever in life, God is able. So guys, when I thought of this, I just started. Guys, take my word, I started. I got my first, of course, salt. There are things like salt, this you don't have to order. I didn't have to crush salt for salt. I just took whatever salt. But for the other spices, I ground them. I first got a machine to grind them and then I ordered the spices and uh, I started. I use them for about a month in my kitchen, like at the food truck, uh, just to see if it's exactly that what I've been getting from the market. And um, I was actually with the rice spice more uh, impressed. I really love it. Like yesterday, I was eating the rice and I was like, wow, I can't believe it. Even my kids, they're like, mommy, are these your spices? I'm like, yeah. And they say they're a little bit different. And I like this because I think I paid more attention because now I know it's going out to the market. It's coming out to you. And... Um, the challenges that I faced, I must be very honest. You know me, I knew like, uh, of course, I googled Kidogo, like, what do you need when you want to like sell your own spices, your own mix? And um, what I did first is to get the packaging. If you check my latest packaging, it's a bit different from the first packaging that I had. And um, I came to realize that um, 
when I ordered the packages, I didn't really like know before how is how much is 100 gram, 200, 250. Actually, in the markets, I realized apart from this very big market like Metro, in the supermarkets like Edeka, where I'm sure I'm going to be selling my spices early next year, I think the most they have is 100 grams. They have 50 grams, 60, 80, and 100. And here comes Leah with a you know, I asked the Edeka boss, like, how do you see this? And that was a 250 gram. I think he even thought, hey, where in, like, what shelf should I even put this spice? Because it has to also come into the market and suit. Not that you come over there, other spices are kidogo like this, and you come with a kilo. You know me, I love quantity. And um, we talked, I remember we talked, and he was like, Leah, I think I'll go for the 100 grams, which I don't have at the moment. We are sold out. We only have 200 and 250 packages left, and not even much. So if you still want spices, just get in touch as soon as possible. Otherwise, you'll have to wait until next year, maybe around end of January or February, according to how the pandemic goes and how we are allowed to travel. So guys, um, I packed my... First of all, let me be very honest. As I was packing, as I was grinding these spices, guys, I was like sneezing seriously. Hachi! the chili the powder and then i thought to myself you know it's like working in a, a construction yeah a construction site you know the cement and all this mix of sand and i thought why can't you wear a mask i remember I even told my friend zipporah i was like hey where your pili pili when it gets into your nose eh? and i got a mask i realized it's even not even good enough so i had to pad my mask like get something in between the mask for me to just have this um clear air as I'm breathing this was a very big challenge for me and you can imagine mixing a lot of spice not easy but I have to do this because I need to have a ratio even if I'm going to give this to, not even if I have to do this to give it to a big company that is going to package my spices I need to let them know how much did I mix and I was working with a ratio of 10 1 to 10 and um, with this we are going to get like a they'll work it out mathematicians can do that just to know how much we need for a turn two turns 10 turns and I was like um this is not even much. You know me initially, I thought I'd even mix those spices mbaka to bring to the supermarket by myself. I don't know what was in my head. Really, guys, I didn't think. I just knew Leah, you are mixing. And um, a month later, I got the first etiquettes. Guys, believe me, they didn't have my address. They didn't have my phone number. All that they had that was a dream for me is to have my picture on them. You know, there is this guy called Mula. He's an African and he sells charcoal. When you get to Reve during the summertime, I remember last summer I was like, you just come in and the, like when you come in the entrance, this charcoal was grilling barbecue is the talk of summer. And this African with this big picture on top of that charcoal. And I was like, this is amazing, you know? And I thought when the idea of spice came, like I'm now packaging my spices and I want them in the European market. I need a picture of me. So me, I concentrated more on the picture thing. Just to forget that um, this I got from Amazon because I sent them my first sample and they were like, there's a lot that is missing. First of all, we can't take something that you just made, like a picture, and then you uh, printed it and just put it on that package. They don't take this. They have quality and they have standard. So you can imagine my first etiquette never had um, my names on it. It only had Leia Finest Spices. It never had my name, my address, my telephone number, where were the spices packed. Because guys, you also have to remember one thing. You don't just start packing spices to sell in the market um, in your kitchen. No. You can check this out. I can give this for anybody who'd like to go this way. You can do this. You'll need to get a professional kitchen if possible. Yeah, you can rent a government kitchen. We have a lot of kitchens. Get a professional kitchen if you don't have somewhere. What we did, we have an assigned kitchen where I usually do my preparations for food for my catering. And that's where we were doing that. You have to have your hats on. You have to have gloves on, of course, and a mask at this time. And even without the pandemic, you still need a mask because, guys, you can be sure your eyes will be like red. You'll be hachi every second. So uh, there are things that you have to consider. And um, I remember when I was doing, when I started this, guys, I've told you my etiquettes were wrong. And then the etiquettes came. I didn't even know what size to order for what package because some etiquettes came and they were so big, yet the package was so small. And guys, trust me, I invested money in this and there's money that is lost because like the etiquettes without a name, without an address, they don't even know where the uh, spices were packed. Nobody can take them. No market is taking this. So I had to reorder, get new spice, uh, new etiquettes, etiquettes for the stickers. And trust me, guys, sometimes it's good to make a mistake because it's through this mistake that I thought to myself, boy, are you just doing the paper packaging? Of course, recyclable paper, but why are you just doing the paper? Why can't you check on glass? Guys, and you can't believe when I did the first glass and the right etiquettes were there, of course, with my address and still a 
small picture of me if you check those etiquettes well you're still going to see Leah. for me this is a dream i'm going to fight for it that picture has to stay there somebody has to go buy that spice and just see that africa you know sometimes you just because it's a rice spice it's a beef spice but just look there and see oh okay and this i don't know i just feel good and why can't you do something that makes you feel good especially if it's doable so I ordered the right etiquettes and with the glass thing when I packed you can check on Facebook uh, on our website I already put them out if you check the glass it's so elegant and I said so it's nice that I made the wrong I made a mistake ordering the wrong etiquettes for the wrong packages because it's through this that I got to the glass idea and guys trust me I think I'm even going to do glass of course I'll stay by paper because of the 250 grams because then I think it looks more nice when it's in the uh, recyclable paper but for the 200 I think in the 100 grams I might stick to glass I'll have to put maybe more postage because they are heavier but they are so beautiful and i thank god for that mistake so guys the challenges if i may put them all natural the wrong packaging wrong etiquettes the sneezing part of it all how am i going to market my spices so far so good i have four markets that are willing to take me in and i'm really glad but i need to have the capacity so 2021 i have to really like um do a bit more which i'm looking forward to because i know this is just the beginning once you lay the foundation and even for you out there if there's something you're doing right now and you still feel like it's hard or you can't see light at the end of the tunnel some tunnels are longer than others there are tunnels you get in and you're out in 500 meters some you have to drive like 10 kilometers for you to see light you know and in this time all you wish for is that nothing happens as you're under the tunnel don't get somebody who's going to bring you down don't bring people who are going to criti criticize what you're doing I know with the spices I'm very ready, I'm very prepared because I don't want any African, any Kenya to order my spices and think I'm selling them Royco. My spices don't have sugar. My beef spice has a little bit because uh, I marinate a lot. And just in case you choose to take my uh, beef spice for barbecue, that you just have this lightest, but it's really minimal. But for our rice spice and for the veggie vegan, there is no sugar at all. I'm a fan. I love beef cubes and everything, but I'm coming to start like... Uh, um, drop this thing of having sugar in whatever I use for cooking especially because of my kids and even for me for my health I want to live healthy so guys I just want to remind you as you're buying my spices don't think you're buying Royco you are not buying any beef cubes for this you can order I can also tell you where to get them I have friends who sell this stuff here in Germany but just in case you want that different taste and um, spicy then you are right at my place uh, the spices are really good we've tested them we've sold a lot i can't tell you from the moment i told people that they are open you can now order how much we've sold in the food trucks people are calling and um it's a bit hectic we are not able to like uh, send everything that is needed right now but i know uh, after christmas because i have to work like now i'm talking i'm going to work i just stopped because i know tomorrow is going to be really rough this this last minute uh, shopping everybody's out there there's this hectic and i thought let me just do this video today because i have like 20 30 minutes for myself before i start work and that's why i chose to shoot this video today on a tuesday guys i hope um you've gotten the little that i've given you about the packaging um even the marketing there are a lot of things and i'm not yet done yet once the products are in the supermarket i'll let you know where you can order them for amazon i'm still waiting for the last uh, confirmation and once this is confirmed i'll give you a link where you can order them ebay you can already get the veggie vegan you can get the beef and the rice spice uh, they're already out there you can even call me email me and then let's do this together go spicy if you don't like it you can buy it for your neighbor for your family for friends just just taste it i think it's worth tasting my best is the rice the beef and the vegan what does that mean i love them all guys thank you so much for supporting what i do it's a journey it's long but we are getting there together guys feel inspired if there is something you know you want to do go for it chase it don't look people around you don't even look at how fast they're driving or how slow stick to your lane and just do right god is ahead he will make sure i not he will make sure he does that he's just real you know he's somebody who never changes he'll hold you and you'll move guys stay tuned and have a very nice christmas festive season guys i'm so excited because i know i think i'll be doing videos every day i can't wait for tomorrow evening because then i'm free and i have some time with family and of course doing some videos over here thank you and if you haven't subscribed gonga that button if you have if you like what i do thumbs up if you don't thumbs down i also check on them just to know why the thumbs down i don't mind it but if you like it have a very nice time and take care bye bye